Hello and welcome everybody. You're looking at a set of Royal Card Room poker chips. These are China Clay's 43 millimeters available at ApachePokerChips.com. Full disclosure, these were sent to me for review, the sample set right here. And I'm going to give my honest opinions about these. For starters, these are China Clay's, okay? So very similar to other China Clay's like, for example, Majestics that have been available in the past. Obviously, the Royal card room are 43 millimeters so you can see right here slightly larger than your average 39 millimeter chip 43 millimeter chips are available in casinos so it's not like they're breaking new ground here so actually a pretty interesting set looking at the royal card room compared to the majestics for example you can see that they have this crown mold right here crowned crown and diamond mold that's molded into the chip Nice permanently attached label right here. Just a sticker with some permanent adhesive on it stuck on there. Let's uh, play a quick hand and see how these look. Again, some bridge sides cards. These look a little bit larger than the 39 millimeter counterparts, but it really is hard to tell. Let's uh, deal up right here. Not the best surface for playing as le leather can, uh, can be kind of difficult to pull some cards off of leather sometimes. So let's see how this works. Okay, so everybody at home, if you want to participate, shuffle up your deck, deal yourself two cards. Let me have a look here, see what we're getting into. And let's play a quick hand. So here's our pot right here. I'm just gonna burn through this for time's sake. Here's the flop. Ooh, interesting. Even more interesting. Let us know what you have in the comments below. What do I have? Something that I fold off suit, not connected. Something you fold as soon as possible. So, unless of course you're, you know, grandstanding on some sort of live poker show. And that would be pretty funny to play that hand. All right, so how did the chips do? They're poker chips. They seem to do the job just fine. Some things... I've noticed, okay, number one, with the China clay material, you do get this VOC smell, this volatile organic compound smell, smells of plastic. Something to be aware of. If that bothers you, you might want to steer clear of these, but they have a really nice texture straight out of the package. They feel like casino chips that have been broken in. So I've always liked the, the feel of China clays. The look, I like the looks as well, especially the large denominations. Some of these, the 500 looks stunning. The... Uh, Large, like this uh, 100,000 looks great. So I really don't have much to complain about other than maybe the smell. They run about 49 cents a chip, around the 50 cent, you know, two for a dollar kind of price range, which is cheaper than plaques. Plaques can run several dollars per plaque. So these are a much more viable option. And to me, I'm most interested in these as large denominations. So for example, because they're so similar, I would not mind mix and matching, getting some 39 millimeter Majestics and having the larger denominations like the 100 in the 43 millimeter chip. It just looks absolutely stunning. Now, some problems with this, just being honest here, you're gonna have trouble fitting that. Here's just a review. So these don't fit in 39 millimeter trays. There are 43 millimeter trays available, so you're gonna to have to buy some extra accessories, especially if you're moving it around. But if you're just gonna leave these at your home, you know, for home games, these should be fine. You don't need a lot of special cases, 43 millimeter cases to move these around. So let me know your thoughts about the Royal Card Room poker chips. Would you mix and match these? Would you go for a full set of 43 millimeter? What are your thoughts? For me, I'm... I like these. These are some of my favorite China clays I've seen. I'm, I was actually really excited when these came out. So tempting, uh, we'll see. We'll see where I end up in the future. Watch, subscribe and you'll see where I end up. And of course, you know, when we get things for free here, we don't want to go without destroying some chips. So today's flavor, I'm thinking some golf.
So I'm looking for the rest of this chip. Here's some of it. Here's some of it over here. Here's some of it down here. Guys, I say, I tell everybody, don't try this at home. I'm serious. I wore safety glasses when I did this, and this just exploded. There are little sharp, jagged pieces all over my shop. Please do not try this at home. That's why I do this here, so you don't have to do it at home. Look at this. Look at this survival rate. And this is why we have labels, so you can go golfing with your chips. Pretty interesting chips. Looking forward to reading your comments. If you want to support the channel, you can visit my Amazon shop in the links in the description below. I make some proceeds from qualifying purchases and you can always subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. My name is John Hobby.